Ready? Good morning, everyone. It's uh, interesting to be back at the Framingham bunker. It was seven years ago when Governor Baker and our team uh, took to the bunker for what we didn't know would be a very long uh, winter in 2015. I'm joined by Don Brantley, our MEMA director, and Secretary uh, Tesler from MassDOT. The storm moved out of our region last night, but we expect to be clearing more roads and MBTA facilities and working with our utilities throughout the day today and uh, tomorrow. As we said yesterday, the storm delivered just what experts predicted, and <laughs> not always on target, but certainly with this storm with 20 to 30 inches, they were about right uh, for the mid and eastern part of our state and the north to the south uh, coast. Uh, MassDOT crews worked throughout the day. I want to thank uh, all of the MassDOT team. Uh, we had over 3,000 pieces of equipment out there during the day, throughout the night. And I want to thank the residents of our Commonwealth for really listening to the advice of the governor to stay off the roads. It allowed for them to get out there and do their job to clear, and in some places you're seeing asphalt roads, which is great but still more work to do, especially in the eastern part of the state, the south coast, the Cape, they're not quite down to the, to the asphalt pavement yet. So today, if you need to go out, make, make plans, but be patient. Uh, not all roads are cleared exactly the way uh, they would be in normal conditions. Uh, so be patient, uh, plan, and if you can stay home and enjoy the day and maybe take in some football games, uh, do that, and if you need to get out, then just plan and be patient and understand that from community to community, uh, things do, do change. Uh, the power, high winds from this storm led to power outages in many communities, uh, primarily in the, the southeastern part of our Commonwealth and the Cape. As of this morning, though, uh, many restorations have been made. Uh, thanks to the great work of uh, the utilities, uh, pre-staging, having the crews available uh, really made a difference to turn on power where they could. And now today, they're out there addressing about 55,000 outages, uh, getting out there to re return power as quickly as possible. Uh, for some uh, parts of the Commonwealth, though, there are... Uh, and especially in the eastern part, there are people who needed to get out of their homes and get into shelters. The regional shelters and warming stations and centers have been set up and they will continue uh, to stay open, but you should check uh, with your local public safety officials. And of course, if you have an emergency, you always would call 911. Uh, we want to thank all of our volunteers and everyone who set up these shelters and warming centers to keep people safe. And then uh, finally, you'll hear from uh, Secretary Tesler about the work of MassDOT. Uh, obviously, in getting a system up and running is one part of it, but also to make it accessible. There are a lot of stations and uh, facilities that need to be cleared out, sidewalks and, and, and stops and bus stops. So just give uh, MassDOT the time and, and the space to be able to do their work so that people can access the system and get to where they need to go. The goal is to you know, clean up more today and get people back into uh, their commute, into work, uh, and to get help communities get kids back into school tomorrow. So thank you all very much for weathering uh, this first major storm of uh, the year. I also just want to say how grateful I am to our municipal leaders who are so prepared, so collaborative, and really professional and expert at dealing with uh, a snow crisis like this. It was a pleasure joining their many calls over the course of the last day and a half uh, to see and witness their enthusiasm and also their abilities uh, to help our communities across the state and also uh, support each other and keep the people of our Commonwealth safe. So with that, I'll now turn it over to Secretary Tesla. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor, and thank you for an opportunity today to give us an update on the status of our response to this storm and uh, also the, the opportunity to join the men and women here at MEMA uh, and see our team at work. We appreciate that people have heeded the warnings to avoid travel during this weekend, if at all possible, 
and we appreciate people's continued patience as we let our crew, plow crews, utility crews, and other frontline workers get the job done with room to work. Your patience is asked again today as snow and ice operations continue and many roads are still not completely cleared. As you know, the impacts of the storm are still being felt, especially by those residents and those businesses which have no power. As forecasted, this was a very challenging storm with heavy snowfall rates, strong wind gusts, and very low visibility due to the whiteout conditions. I'd like to publicly recognize our team at MassDOT and local DPW crews that work day and night and are still working around the clock on the cleanup. MassDOT still has a lot of equipment on the road and we will have crews out throughout the day cleaning up. They will be out pushing back snow banks, widening ramps, and clearing drainage and removing snow. The most extensive cleanup will continue on the South Shore and Cape Cod. Early this morning, we were able to lift the travel ban on the interstates for tractor trailers, tandems, and special permit vehicles. Thank you to the members of the trucking community for not traveling yesterday into this storm. Thank you for helping us keep the roads safe, keeping the public safe, and no amount of driving can take on Mother Nature in this kind of severe weather. So thanks again to your cooperation. Today, if you go out, please make sure to clear off your car, the roof, all windows, hood, and trunk. Look for slippery spots around intersections, highway ramps, and shoulders as the temperatures are still quite low. And we do expect that some ice could form because of melting snow and refreeze over the next few days. And we will have staff out to address these trouble spots. I'd like to give a couple updates as well on the MBTA's response to this storm and cleanup. So first, uh, customers should travel, who are traveling the T, should dress warmly and check schedules. MBTA's crews are deployed throughout the MBTA performing snow clearing, de-icing work at critical track switch locations and in rail yards. The work of clearing snow from platforms, bus stops, parking lots, and paths of travel will continue all day and night into Monday. Today, buses are replacing Blue Line service between Orion Heights and Government Center Station, while the MBTA electricians make repairs to signal systems near Maverick Station. Also today, buses continue to replace Green Line D branch service between Riverside and Kenmore Station, while snow removal work continues along the line. Service on the Mattapan line continues to be suspended to accommodate ongoing snow removal work. Buses are providing replacement service between Mattapan and Ashmont stations. Charlestown ferry service has been able to resume and all bus routes are operating on their regular Sunday schedules. But a number of routes are operating as snow routes to avoid steep hills, narrow streets, or tight corners. Please check the information about snow routes posted at mbta.com slash winter. The ride is providing paratransit service today for customers who have scheduled essential trips and regularly scheduled Sunday service is operating on commuter rail lines, but customers are still encouraged to check MBTA.com, T-Alerts, and Twitter for any service changes that may occur. The MBTA asks for customers' patience while crews perform the work necessary to have the transit system ready uh, and continuing to make it ready for tomorrow morning. Today at Massport, um, we are advising travelers to check with airlines before coming to Logan or using the airport in Worcester. Logan's first arrival is expected around 10 a.m. this morning, with most airlines resuming activity midday or early afternoon. We are still continuing to clean up around Logan and in the seaport. So again, we thank everybody for their patience uh, as we continue to do clean up today. And thank you for respecting uh, everyone's safety yesterday and travel uh, by, by respecting everyone's safety and avoiding travel. And now I am turning it over to um, NEBA Director Don Brantley. Thank you, Secretary and Lieutenant Governor. Um, good morning and welcome to the MEMA Bunker. 
Uh, the state's emergency operations center here in Framingham and our regional operations center in Tewksbury remain activated today so that we can continue to monitor, coordinate, and assist our local partners as they recover from this uh, historic nor'easter. MEMA's regional coordinators have been working closely throughout the storm with local emergency management officials, and that will also continue today. The state's EOC is staffed with personnel from multiple state agencies to provide support wherever and whenever it's needed. We have representatives from the Mass State Police, MassDOT, the National Guard, Department of Public Utilities, Department of Conservation and Recreation, Department of Fire Services, and many other agencies who are supporting virtually um, for our comprehensive response and recovery efforts. I'd like to again recognize and thank our local and state emergency management partners for their exceptional work. Local emergency managers have been working for days coordinating local response and recovery and keeping our community safe behind the scenes. Their work begins before impact and will continue long after the rest of us have moved on from the storm. So thank you for what you do. I would also like to thank the MEMA team. We spend every day throughout the year preparing to coordinate response, assist municipalities, and support the state's response operations. This week, MEMA's team has performed exceptionally well and proven that our work and training during steady state makes a difference when it matters to the citizens of the Commonwealth. Overnight, we did see some improvement in the number of people without power. As the Lieutenant Governor mentioned, we're just over 55,000 customers, which is a significant improvement. There's still work to be done, and I know the utility crews will uh, continue to work throughout the impacted areas today. We still have six shelters open on the South Shore, Cape, and Martha's Vineyard, assisting approximately 57 residents as of this morning. So I want to thank local emergency management officials and the American Red Cross for stepping up and providing emergency shelter to those who need it. If you do find you need a shelter today, please call your local public safety officials or 211 to find a shelter or warming center in your local area. Again, as residents continue to dig out, we want to emphasize some important safety tips. Stay away from any downed wires and report them to 911. Please take care when shoveling, take frequent breaks, and use caution when shoveling near a road. The blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult for plow drivers to see you. If you can assist your local fire department by shoveling out a, a nearby hydrant, please do so and make sure to operate generators safely and at least 20 feet away from your home. Clear snow from heating system exhaust vents and car tailpipes to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Thank you again to all of the public uh, safety and response partners throughout the Commonwealth assisting with storm response and recovery operations. Your resilience, hard work, and dedication have been on full display throughout this storm and we um, will help us ensure that we put the storm in the rearview mirror as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Director, and thank you, Secretary. Happy to take any questions. Do you have a restoration time frame about when this will be back? The utilities are working very hard to as quickly as possible. As we said, they pre-staged a lot of their crews. They're working nonstop. They knocked down a significant amount of outages and uh, we'll work really hard today to restore as many of the 55,000 that are out of power uh, could take into tomorrow, but they're assuring us that they will do everything possible as quickly as possible. So we're talking hours, hopefully not days. It means some of them could go depending on the circumstances into tomorrow, but the goal is to get a lot of the restorations completed today and finish, finish the uh, project uh, and get people back powered up by tomorrow. Were there any other, do you, do you know if there were any injuries or, or, or events related to this storm at all? I'm not aware of any uh, fatalities uh, re directly related to the storm. No. Thankfully. Thank you. Thank you. Have a safe day. Thank you, everyone.